Today I'm going to be talking to you about my five favorite Kylie skin products that are actually worth your money. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, again, please like this video, comment below, click that bell so that you are notified whenever I post new content. When any celebrity releases a skincare line, of course we all roll our eyes and, you know, kind of don't really believe that, you know, um, you know, this is why they have great skin. And whilst that may be true, um, one thing that I did want to address is obviously Kylie Jenner is not in her home mixing up skincare ingredients in her kitchen skin in her kitchen sink. I would, you know, obviously there is a huge amount of money behind this brand. So the best of the best in terms of scientists and chemists could really work on formulating um, fantastic products. Um, saying that, as with any skincare line, in, in my experience anyway, with any skincare line, you will find some products that are amazing and formulated extremely well. And then you will find products at the other end of that spectrum that haven't been formulated very well and likely won't really give you much of a positive result. If you have tried any Kylie skin products, I would love for you to comment below, or if you have any questions as well, please, please feel free to comment. But I'm definitely interested to hear if you've tried any products and had a good experience or a bad experience, please share that below. But the first product I wanted to talk to you about is the Kylie skin eye cream. So this is the product. Yeah, it's probably really hard to get that to focus. Now, I do just want to address really quickly, there are a lot of people out there that say that you don't need an eye cream, you don't need a special product for that area. Um, I do have to say, I do actually agree with that. I don't think an eye cream is necessary. I think if you find a good serum or a good moisturizer that is really beneficial for your the skin on your face or your neck, it will definitely be great for the under eye area and vice versa. Now, I do continue to use eye gels and eye creams and eye serums. That's just because over the years, I feel like, you know, the skincare industry has kind of brainwashed me into thinking that I do need one. Um, but even separate to that, really, I think by my age, I just want to make sure, um, you know, if that I'm taking as good care of the skin under my eyes. Obviously, that's one of the first places where we do show the signs of aging. So if I can buy a product that might be a little bit more expensive and in a smaller tube or container, um, but it's it has more potent ingredients, then I'm all for spending that bit of extra money um, just to give my under eye area a bit of a boost. What I love about this product is it has a very lightweight, creamy texture. It's actually a very light yellow. The product itself is a very light yellow color. And then obviously as you apply that to your skin, it goes completely clear and it absorbs very easily into the skin. It leaves a very, you know, a non-sticky finish. So it's very comfortable to apply. This eye cream contains some awesome hydrating ingredients such as glycerin and jojoba oil, but it also contains a really good amount of vitamin C and it does actually contain two types of vitamin C. And as we know, vitamin C, it is fantastic for a number of reasons, um, but particularly it is very good at really brightening the skin and helping to even the skin tone. So it really helps that under eye area to look as smooth and clear as possible, which is really the ultimate goal and, and what a lot of us would love to achieve. One thing I will say is this product does contain a very small amount of caffeine. Now, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about caffeine in skincare. I am not a supporter of caffeine in skincare whatsoever. Caffeine can cause a short term tightening effect of the skin. So it causes an instant constriction to the skin, um, which ultimately that's not what we want to achieve. It might look good in the short term, but we really want to keep our skin hydrated. So whilst this product does contain a small amount of caffeine. I am still a fan of this product because of everything else it does contain. 
Um, in addition to that, the amount of caffeine that this does contain is very, very, very little. So there is minimal risk that this is going to have any adverse impact on your skin. So these products and all of the Kylie Skin products are packaged extremely well. So it's this completely opaque tube. Um, so it is a very hygienic way to use the product. You know, it's not a tub or a jar, which I have mentioned before, I am not a fan of jar packaging whatsoever. Um, so this will keep the ingredients, so those antioxidants and those key active ingredients that we want in our skin, this type of packaging will keep them safe from you know the air and other pollutants, meaning they can remain as active as possible. So it's awesome packaging. And this product is 17 milliliters in size. Um, and this retails for $35 at Mecca here in Australia. So the next product I'm going to talk about is the hydrating face mask. So again, probably really hard to see that. But again, this has a very lightweight, creamy texture. Um, like all of the products I've found that I have used and that I will be talking about, um, it's very lightweight. It leaves a really non-sticky finish, so it doesn't have that gross sticky feeling that some products do. Um, this product does contain a really good amount of niacinamide. If you're not familiar with niacinamide, it is fantastic at repairing the skin's natural barrier. It is also great at improving the appearance of the pores in our skin, um, as well as, a, you know, heaps of other things, but they're the main things why I tend to lean towards niacinamide. I use a number of niacinamide products in my skincare routine, and I think it has definitely helped um, with wrinkles, definitely with my pores. I do have some larger pores in certain areas, so I love products like this that give me extra niacinamide in my routine. This product also contains a great amount of antioxidants, which are great at improving the skin and delivering key ingredients that our skin needs directly into the skin. Now, this is a mask. As with any mask, and I, I say this all the time as well, if something is good for your skin, if it's on there for 10 or 15 minutes, then it's going to be even better on your skin for an extended period of time. So I use a number of different masks across multiple different brands, and I never wash them off. Uh, sorry, well, I never wash them off after 15 minutes. I wash them off um, the next day. So I wear a mask overnight. I probably do that a few times a, a week at the moment. Um, but that's just really giving the product more time to penetrate into the skin, delivering all of those ingredients that your skin will love. Again, awesome packaging in this tube, keeping all of those valuable ingredients really safe. Now this product is 85 grams in size and it is 58 Australian dollars here at Mecca. I also love the face moisturizer. So this is a very light, lightweight, creamy texture. Um, like the other products, it's, it absorbs very quickly. It doesn't leave the skin, um, you know, sticky. Um, and another thing, it does contain jojoba oil, uh, shea butter, and sweet almond oil, which are really great in a face moisturizer because they really help hydrate our skin, uh, but then also seal in that moisture so that it can't obviously escape and evaporate. Now, the only slight criticism I have of this particular product is I would like to see the antioxidants in higher volumes. So I'd like to see them a little bit further up on that ingredients list for this to be considered a real anti-aging moisturizer. Um, however, as it is, I would still say this is a fantastic moisturizer for helping to repair your skin's barrier um, and hydrating your skin. Uh, but it's probably a little bit limited at what, what it can achieve in terms of anti-aging benefits. Again, awesome packaging, keeping the ingredients very safe. Um, now, in terms of size and price, this is 52 milliliters and 40 Australian dollars at Mecca. So one product I would love to get in Australia, but unfortunately I can't, is the Kylie Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 40 face sunscreen. So this is a fragrance-free broad spectrum sunscreen. It is very, um, you know, it has that barely there feeling when applied. Uh, because we don't get it here in Australia, I have a very good friend of mine in the United States who was kind enough to um, send some over to me. 
Unfortunately, that does make it quite expensive for me to buy it. Um, but I, you know, if it was available here, this would be my daily sunscreen. The reason why I love this sunscreen is one, to me, the most important thing for a sunscreen is that it, it doesn't have like a greasy finish. Um, I really want something that really does feel barely, barely there. Um, secondly, I really don't want something that irritates my eyes. My eyes are super sensitive and they will get red and gross as soon as I'm wearing something that will, you know, that starts to irritate them. Um, so I really like this sunscreen for those reasons. One other thing I would say about this sunscreen is it does contain a great amount of antioxidants and other products that will really deliver key ingredients to your skin. So it's really an anti-aging moisturizer that happens to also be a sunscreen. So obviously because this product isn't available in, in Australia, I can only tell you that this retails for 28 US dollars and it is 50 mils in size. Um, at the moment, I will tell you this product is on sale. If you happen to be, if you were lucky enough to live in the US or Canada and have access to this product, it is currently half price. So 14 US dollars for 50 mils of a fantastic sunscreen. So lucky you, if I live there, I would probably buy 10 of these in a second. So um, head over to Kylie Skin and have a look if you're interested in trying a new sunscreen. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, again, please like this video, comment below, click that bell so that you are notified whenever I post new content. If you ever have any questions and you're not comfortable commenting below for any reason, please feel free to reach out to me directly at Instagram. So my Instagram name is The Skin Code by Cody and I will also be happy to uh, help you out. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.